Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a spool holder I designed to fit on the 2040 extrusions that I have here on the Prusa MK3 printer with a bear upgrade. So let's have a look after the intro. So when I did the bare upgrade from my Prusa MK3 printer that I have in my enclosure, I didn't really need a spool holder as I have my enclosure with a spool holder system. But I plan to do the upgrade as well on my Prusa MK2.5 printer. And that one I have here behind me, and normally with the included Prusa spool holder, and that snaps on to, to the, the, the frame of the Prusa. And this is designed by Prusa and is included with a printer. But I want to adapt this design to fit the bare extrusion, 2040 extrusions. So I went into Fusion 360 and, and designed a version of this. It, this is like the, the master copy from Prusa. So my design is like a copycat <laughs> of that design. It's, it's like, like a clone or a revision of it. And when, when designing, I, I printed out first some parts just to fit the profile. And my thinking was to be able to have it as a snap-on uh, design that I could snap on as the Prusa design has that feature. And I went through several parts with the with design and, and prints and with uh, how long the, the parts should be and how, how it snaps on and I was like going back and forth a little bit and here I have like two final versions and one, one full prototype that I uh, this is the, the, the mount and this is the part and uh, when I was force fitting this on <laughs> I just broke it just a few minutes ago this was going to be my production unit but uh, now this one is my protection unit, <laughs> but what uh, what I had problem with this to be able to to snap it on, it has to flex a little bit, and I was playing around with the with the mount, and it goes over over the extrusions and snaps on, and then you can move it to the sides. And, and in in this case, uh, this one broke here at the at the corner. And, I modeled in a few a few channels to make more material and this one snaps on pretty pretty nicely so as you can see it snaps on and it's pretty stable um, but then I decided to to make the design with a hole in the bottom and having a t-nut in the underneath slot I could screw in a screw so then this was set in you could fasten it in place and um, this was the final design and this one was, was printed with quite high number of infill so this was a little bit too stiff and i couldn't bend it over the platform so actually i broke it and um, my plan is when i built the bear upgrade for the Prusa mk 2.5 is to slide in the t-nut and, and slide this on before I screw this apart so I don't have to snap it in but uh, if you print it with less infill than I did in this one the design is is able to snap in but I'll, I'll probably go with a go with a slide in option so when I, when I put this in and now I've done it a few times as you see there's a little little give in it so Sliding it in would probably be the best best option. It doesn't come off really easily. So but this is the, the look of the final design, even though it's broken <laughs> at, at this point. You can see the hole here in the bottom. Um, I'm going to show you the close-up of the, of the structural additions. Here I put on some holes in it on the bottom to make this part a little bit stiffer. Uh, this maybe shows off a little bit better here in this design. It's just one millimeter holes that go through the plastic and they make uh, this part uh, stiffer compared to this one that had a, uh, you can see the, how it broke up here when it's stressed out. So this was uh, like a few iterations of, of mounts coming up with this design with a, with a hole in the bottom. So, so it's gonna 
be built with a printer upgrade when I do that on a Prusa MK3. But, but this video is just to show and tell what I've been doing. <laughs> I had this laying around and want to do a, a short video on it. It's all done in Fusion 360 using like this mount from Prusa as a as a reference design. It's, it's not a modified of this design, so to speak. It's just uh, inspired by or referenced by. <laughs> so it's it's very similar in in shape and, and function. Just a different mounting area for the Prusa frame versus the, the, the 2040 frame extrusions. So you can see it here side by side how, how different it is. This will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and, and give it a thumbs up or a, a comment. But I'm Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please give me a subscribe and a comment on the video. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.